Hello to everyone and welcome back. This is Vasashi playing Remnant 2 on Nightmare difficulty. I've got the Challenger here in the Explorer. I'm trying to level it up. I don't think the Explorer is that great, but it's, it's nice to level them up. Mostly fun for um, getting more loot. Got the uh, Void set here in a Runed Heart and a Merciless plus 9. And the Enigma plus 10. Uh, some regen rings here and some mod regeneration as well that synergizes with that. Some increased damage here on the Ankh of Power. And the Labyrinth Staff, don't really use it that much. I don't really like the moveset so much actually, even though I do really like the uh, the ability of it. So uh, the Root Nexus here is uh, not that much of a challenge, I would say. I didn't die so many times on this uh, boss. But it can quickly get overwhelming if you don't deal with the uh, ads quick enough. The Explorer Extra Speed can actually be pretty helpful here, getting yourself into a good position. Although I think I could make a stronger build actually to really optimize against this bug, but I felt like I uh, didn't really need that and uh, taking down all these ads. Um, yeah, it was a nice opportunity to get more. Um, more experience in to level up the class there and the archetype um, so I'm really loving the merciless weapon um, at the time of recording I had it at plus nine and uh, the bleed is just so useful and it stays for quite a bit quite a long time actually and it's good against bosses like this where you kind of need to keep your damage going actually same like the enigma it's a little bit shorter but it still works quite a bit and as you can see, that's quite some damage over time. Of course, I can increase it further with rings. I can... Um, oh, those are some beautiful misses there. <laughs> um, I could increase the damage over time with extra mort power, with extra uh, bleeding uh, damage and stuff, but... I really need the... Um, <laughs> the, the survivability, basically. As you can see, in this attempt here, my first one, I actually... Um, I was running Medic with uh, Explorer because I was um, going to Yeisha as my second world on Nightmare in the campaign. Um, and I need to, need to really level the Medic. The Medic is amazing but I got it pretty low still. And in this boss fight um, I do decide to get Challenger back I think after this attempt already. And there's the first elite that spawned. Um, get that speed back in. Yeah, the slow rolling there's also not really uh, not really helping out. Yeah, you can see the damage over time doing wonders of the Enigma against the elite. And there's another elite coming, the one with the big axe. A little bit too late there with um, with the rolling. A lot of damage in there. Way too early with the rolling there. So the uh, merciless is such a versatile weapon. Not only does it do a lot of damage by itself, it also has the damage over time, and it has that moth power that just blasts. Can just nuke people, especially if you manage to get the um, uh, the weak spot damage in there. But sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It really depends. But on this boss, of course, it's relatively easy to. Uh, do weak spot damage. I think actually before blasting I should have uh, popped a relic before I... Uh, <laughs> it looks like in-game I also realized this. I was getting a bit low there. There's some beautiful mod shots there. Okay, well the weak just keeps uh, being damaged by my bleed. I uh, pop the speed of the Explorer and continue taking care of these ads, at least attempting to. And this one, this Elite specifically, I really struggle with on uh, Nightmare in general. I find its abilities hard to read. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course, the usual montage, montage of deaths that you're accustomed to maybe by now if you watch the other ones as well. Um, but yeah, that one specifically that goes on the ground and uh, grabs you, throws axes and its uh, other abilities is um, uh, it's tough for me. 
Um, but in this one that you see here, I'll be doing it. So um, I hope you enjoy this one. And as always, thank you for watching. And I wish you a beautiful day and peace. Shit.